Well, there's a question today about part of the government's new application for health insurance under Obamacare. At one point in the application, it asks the applicants if they would like to register to vote. One Republican lawmaker is now calling that question and its placement inappropriate and sending a letter to Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius demanding an explanation. Joining me now for a fair and balanced debate, Leslie Marshall, who's a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and Chris Plant, who is radio host of The Chris Plant Show. So, Chris, this, this Republican lawmaker comes out and says to Ms. Sebelius, look, the question is asked in a way that seems to be suggesting to somebody that their voter registration is somehow tied to their eligibility for a subsidy under Obamacare, and therefore he has problems with it. Your thoughts? Well, it turns out that this is normal for public assistance application forms across the board because Democrats recognize that this is one of their constituencies and they want to recruit people and line people up, uh, you know, as soon as they can at every possible opportunity. I think, you know, I, I think everyone should vote. I think everyone should register to vote because then you can legally vote. But I think that the, the Democrats certainly see this as an opportunity and the Obama administration to uh, appeal to a target audience, that is people signing up for Obamacare. And what really threw me on this one was that the application for Obamacare is 61 pages long. Now, you can buy real estate in Virginia with about eight pages. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know what you need 61 pages to. That, that's what really threw me for a loop here. It's longer than the well, SAT Well, but that's not, that's not particularly surprising. There'll be a lot of questions asked and before they give you, you know, government-subsidized health insurance. But, Leslie, Chris accurately references the law, which, which requires, mm -hmm. requires, let me get it right, um, an opportunity for vo voter registration through any office that provides public assistance. And that's pursuant to mm -hmm. the National Voter Registration Act back in 1993. So the government appears to feel that this is basically a government... It's government assistance. I mean, it's the akin akin to Medicaid or you know food stamps, if you will, mm -hmm. and they're trying mm -hmm. to help those people who are applying register to vote. Is there anything wrong with doing that? Uh, not at all. And obviously, this is not something done since you mentioned Megan. Thank you, 1993. Um, my calendar shows me that uh, Barack Obama wasn't president then, and uh, quite frankly, nor was a, a Democrat at that time. Or 92, yes, there was a Democrat in place, but there was a Republican in between that time, Chris. So this isn't something Democrat or Republican. This is, like you said, a required question when anyone applies for public assistance, and Americans aren't stupid. The question is, and specifically, would you like to register to vote? Mm -hmm. That doesn't tie in uh, to, uh, the, the, you know, to the Affordable Care Act or to any public assistance program. And what I think happens here is, you know, some of the guys, not you necessarily, Chris, and, you know, many Republicans, we've seen uh, Governor Chris Christie, Governor Rick Scott move on, embrace the Affordable Care Act, open their hands for their check from the government and expand Medicaid. But I think there are still Republicans angry that they had to give up and are giving up, repeal and replace. So it's sort of like my mom says, if you look hard enough, you'll find something. They think they found something, but this is, as Shakespeare would say, much ado about nothing and exactly what the American people don't want our politicians in Washington to be doing. Is there something, I mean, the, the, again, this, this, um, it's Charles Bustani uh, who is arguing uh, about this, who is who's writing to Kathleen Sebelius, wanting to know why it was placed, where it was placed uh, on the particular form. He says it's asked after both the Medicaid-specific questions and then again on the review and sign portion of the form. It comes after the applicants learn of their eligibility status for the insurance policies, and they are invited to file a complaint of discrimination. He seems to think that there's some message being telegraphed to people, I suppose, about how they should register to vote. Well, I think it's implied if you're signing up for Barack Obama's signature uh, piece of legislation, which I'm glad we're now admitting, Leslie, is a form of welfare, that it's the grandest new uh, entitlement program since the well, LBJ I didn't say era. That. That it, no, well, it, it, it's certainly implicit in everything that's being said here. And it, and it is, I mean, I don't care whether there was a Republican in between. This is a Democrat effort to target their audience to sign them up. Now, if, if we're signing people up, 
uh, registering people to vote that sign up for the military, that are buying firearms, that do the things that, you know, pro-American people do, than uh, just to offset the registration of all these Democrats over here. Uh, look, 60, I'm still marveling at the 61 pages. If you can fill out 61 pages of government forms, you know, uh, what are you doing on the dole? Uh, you should be taking the bar exam. This 61-page this, uh, <laughs> application for, for welfare. So it is welfare, right, Leslie? No, it is not welfare, Chris, and I love how you've painted we Democrats as not being American or anybody on Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, or anybody on the Affordable Care Act, and the assumption that everybody well, that's not who's how going I to go to the, that's any, a any, 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 anybody, of what I anybody, said. any, anybody who's going to sign up for the Affordable Care Act, um, you know, would be a Democrat. No, actually, Chris, I don't think it's about political ideology. I think it's about people uh, need care, and the government can provide it affordably for them, and they're going to take really? advantage All of right. that because well, they want to be able to access doctors. It's costing trillions more than the president gotta said. It it's that. going to contribute to bankrupting gotta the country. It's not affordable. And uh, <laughs> we will enjoy those 61 pages. Thank you both.